Hi guys, happy Monday. Today is actually Halloween. I thought I'd very quickly start today's vlog here. Um, I honestly like start a vlog maybe every three days. It's actually outrageous, but I lose momentum very, very quickly. I also just look really rough in all my vlogs. Um, this is actually not that bad because honestly, I was about to edit a vlog and I just looked so rough in it that and actually like it's not even just that it's rough i also just didn't film enough that i was just like you know what i'm just gonna delete this and start again but it, it's stupid because it's just a waste of my time continuously starting new vlogs and never and never uploading them and there's probably lots of different reasons that make sense in my head but probably in the grand scheme of things aren't that important things like i like to wear my at home clothes at home like i don't get dressed and i feel like maybe i should be getting dressed for my vlog so that i can look half presentable and also like tell you like oh look at my nice top and not like, hey, look at this sweater that I've been wearing like every other day for the last week. Yes, yeah, so, so I never look that presentable. Like, I don't always brush my hair. Um, I like don't have jewelry on at home. Well, I do sometimes, but rarely. Um, and then like I'm always wearing at home clothes. Even like my jeans, which like I would wear out. They're not my favourite jeans, and they're not they're not like the sort of jeans that I would put on Instagram. So then I'm like, does it really fit with what I I do here? And then also I'm a messy person, so my house is always a mess. I actually don't think my house is always a mess because I. I have just about managed to keep on top of that but my office which was actually really tidy let me say on saturday but then i had people over and whilst i had people over like so many packages came in through my door that i just became like really overwhelmed and now at some point today i need to sort out this office and i had another third one. Oh, and also just generally like my house isn't where i want it um it is a progress it is a process we've been here like we've been here maybe 14 15 maybe maybe 15 months and i'm making slow progress on it but i'm kind of okay with that because i don't really want to i never wanted to, to just go out and like buy lots of crap and so it just means that like the things that i have bought which let's be honest i have honestly bought about 10 percent of my um furniture um i really really love but a lot of it is like hand-me-down furniture or like stuff that i've uh, bought second hand or largely like received off like free cycle and some of the bits um like the set of drawers that i painted kind of recently um one of my neighbors like put it out and then we painted that but to be honest it kind of i like the idea of my furniture having a little bit more of a story behind it and so that's why i really like having like secondhand furniture i don't know it's just a lot and then like the things we do need to buy we need to like decide what to buy and like what to spend our money on but i'm really hoping that this month i will be able to vlog a bit more i don't know if they're gonna be weekly vlogs in the perfect world i would be uploading a, a vlog a new vlog like every four days this month but uh, it doesn't seem that likely. Um, October was honestly a terrible month for me. Um, just stuff from like um, one of my family members passed, which is obviously very always very hard. One of my neighbours passed, which even though I'd known him from like for like a year, really did leave me exceptionally saddened. October just wasn't a good month. But other than that, actually, it was okay. But um, for especially like a week and a half, like it really put. Uh, it really put me in a bad naturally obviously i wasn't in a happy mood i thought i'd check in this is slightly longer intro than i typically like clocks changed yesterday um it's now 2 15. i'm looking forward to november actually the reason i want to upload more is because like in december there's so many um vlogmas videos that i don't really feel like i fit there which is fine um i have a few i can tell you this room because this office like i said I it's, it's a mess so I think I'm actually going to tie up my hair because um yesterday I had to wash it oh I even dyed my hair we didn't even address that I kind of wanted to go like a coppery gingery colour but then um I feel like my hair just was a bit nervous that I was going to hate it and so we kind of settled on like this colour and she, I am booked in for another colour in December if I want to go more coppery um which I might so we'll see I'm gonna go tie up my hair because I, I washed it yesterday but I like blow dried it really half-heartedly also I think my layers are a bit short but that's something I'll talk about with her next time so I'm gonna tie up my hair and then we're gonna tidy this office I have a mixture of this is like stuff that came from my mum's house that she didn't want some really nice bits actually and then on the floor I have my um, my next order which um it's still like in plastic and stuff it's just that I haven't unpacked it and in the perfect world I would try it all, all on for you but it's a vlog i hope you'll excuse that i'm not going to do that it'll be on my tiktok it'll be on my instagram um maybe even in, maybe even in these videos and actually i found a hair clip to hand so i'm actually just going to clip back my hair 
instead of tying it up because <laughs> because I don't have a hairband to hand if I'm just having an at-home day or like if I'm just going out like even if I go out locally like I just don't care what I look like that much to be honest I want to look like clean and presentable but it doesn't have to be like my best fitting jeans these are definitely not my best fitting jeans yeah this, I do like the jumper though it's from uh super dry and it's just like a nice casual jumper yeah i'm just gonna cut my hair and i'll show you a few bits i'm gonna put on my earrings as well just because i feel like i look slightly less like an egg with them on and actually whilst i'm up here about to go get my earrings i thought i would quickly show you the <laughs> i don't know what to call it the set of drawers that i painted in my last vlog um it is quite dark up here already it is winter and it's like <laughs> i mean it's three o'clock but the sun is on its way down um so i just i thought i'd show you it i'm actually really really happy to with it um i had some people over this weekend and um like my parents were saying that they thought it was going to be awful because they didn't like the color um and they really they were very complimentary and even some of my even my cousins were very complimentary on it i think it looks nicer in real life please ignore um <laughs> like this thing um I really haven't decorated this. It's on my to-do list, but I have to buy some things and really I'd rather source second-hand uh, charity shop items and I haven't been able to do that. This mirror though is second-hand. Um, I don't... Oh, I also <laughs> I also need to recenter this because when I put my mirror I realise that this isn't centred. But I have to empty... I have to remove all the drawers basically in order to do it. But this is what it looks like. I'm not saying it's anything special, but honestly I do really like it. Um, sorry, excuse my bed sheets, they're going in the wash. Um, but I, I do really like it. It gives us lots of extra storage. We still haven't bought a wardrobe, it's on my to-do list. Um, but actually, currently, I mean, we have a wardrobe, we just haven't bought like a big wardrobe. Um, it's on our like, to-do list and on our to-buy list. Um, but actually this works really, really well. Um, this is largely just Michael's stuff, if I'm honest. I don't know what the, how tidy they are. And I think he's been really happy with it. It's just, it works for us. It doesn't have to be forever. Um, even maybe one day I'll move it elsewhere, but for now, I'm very happy with it. I also need to buy a lampshade for this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I have a random soap here. <laughs> I need to also do my nails. I would also really like to repaint my banister, but I don't know like how to do it or what colour to do it. I kind of want to do wood, but it's not in the best shape. So I just don't know if that'll be a bad idea. And then just in my kitchen, there's also this set of drawers, which needs to be painted. I might do that this weekend. Um, it's just like where I have my coffee machine. I need a big frame for here. Just lots to source and lots to buy. And I really find sourcing the hardest part. It's like finding something that I think is worth spending money on. So lots to tidy here. Um, like I said, I'm not trying anything on the clothes. Um, because I can't be bothered, um, because like, it's time consuming and that's not really what I wanted from this video. And I'll be trying this all on on like Instagram and stuff like that. Um, but there's a bit of a mix. So if it's from Next, it was gifted to me. If it's not from Next, my mum brought it around basically. Um, they, these are from Next's um, new brand called Own. Um, they have some really cool bits actually. I ordered these in a 14. I'm hoping they fit, but I really like them. I'm really, really into grey jeans at the moment. Um, I went off them for a really long time, um, but they're probably, they're basically all I wear when, when I actually, um, I'm like worried about what I'm wearing, which like I said, is not today. Um, they, they feel really, really soft. They're not the cheapest, they're like 5, 85? How much are these? 85 pounds, they are a little bit more expensive, but they are kind of like next premium, um, premium range. And when I saw these on people, because I went to the launch event for them, Honestly, their range was chef's kiss. Online, it did not look like that, but oh, it really, like on people, it looked beautiful. Before I forget, I'll show you this because I've already hung this item. This came from my mum. This is a hush, uh, like velvet jacket, which I am really looking forward to wearing over like the festive season. I just think I'll get so much wear out of this. It's very unstructured, um, but I really like it. On from that is this top. I haven't tried any of these bits on, so like, one second. So that was actually the postman. Oh, I think these are some new bits from L'Occitane, which I'm very excited about. So I'll probably show you these again in a second. I haven't tried these items on though, so um, I don't know whether I'm keeping this or not, but this is like a little, um, as you can see, like a sheer red 
blouse um, from Hush long sleeve v-neck I like a v-neck so does my mum um, and basically like tuck it in I I'm like picturing it tucked in but again I need to try it on all these items are 14 I have a big bust but I have like quite narrow shoulders and like generally I'm quite narrow on top um, so like on top I am like a very very standard 12 whereas like on the bottom I'm definitely like a bigger 12 because I carry my weight on my legs and my hips at the moment I really like things oversized my mum has basically said that like I shouldn't keep these items because they're too big for me but I, I think I disagree I haven't tried this item one in particular but I think it'll be nice I really do like Hush as a brand though to be honest um it's got like sort of detailing and um, I need to try it on but I think it's something that I will, I will wear a lot this skirt though I don't think I'm gonna keep because even though I just said that I am bigger on the bottom um typically with skirts I don't find that I am a bigger size just because they go around your waist and they kind of like a line out um and so I don't know like dresses and skirts I'm very comfortably um a 12 but anyway I really like this skirt um it's from Oliver Bonus like I said this is old but and it comes with like this little belt I'm just really into I'm really into uh, corduroy at the moment um I do think it's going to be too big but I'm going to try it on maybe it'll be like fine with a like jumper tucked in but the reality is that I think even with a jumper tucked in it will look like it'll just be like too big that like even though like once the jumper's in around my waist it'll be fine I just don't think it'll be very flattering um but like I said I'm gonna try it on I really like it I actually looked if maybe I could find one on um eBay the same and then I was just like gonna sell this and just get a smaller one in a 12 but I can't find one I could find one that was like a size 6 but that is too small oh these trousers from from next again from own again i'm nervous they might be too big oh these actually look like they will be too big but you know what maybe i'm just gonna get them tailored if they are a bit too big but maybe they're not who knows let me try them on um, but they are velvet i don't think these will ever look on camera as beautiful as they are irl because honestly they are beautiful um but i don't really have anywhere to hang them so i'm going to hang them over this and i might even try and wear them with my velvet jacket that i just showed you as well but we'll see um but once i've tried these on i think like if you're looking for a really beautiful pair of trousers which admittedly i think you will wear much more in november and december than you will the rest of the year i think these are these are the ones to go for and i know that maybe sounds crazy that you're gonna have pair of trousers that you only really wear like two months a year but i think they'll be a real staple for like the next 10 years they're really nice shape they're like um they're bit of a boot cut i have velvet skirts that i only wear around like november december but i bring them out every year and actually like i think they're not a bad investment i don't know like they just really i feel like there's something about velvet that just says merry christmas i just really enjoy it this dress i think is beautiful i think this will fingers crossed look quite nice for me and um, i'm a little bit nervous that maybe the waist is a little bit low maybe it's not though mm, maybe it is we'll see um but it's just beautiful color it's kind of like a wrap style i just i just think it's again really nice for this time of year this coat i spotted i know you just like oh like i need that i don't think i'll get a lot of coats this winter because honestly i really do have a lot of coats and i feel like i'm not really missing much i was kind of missing like a trench this actually isn't that because this is much this is much thicker than a trench shape wise very very similar to a trench but actually once it's on it's like much much um thicker this is 98 pounds which is basically 100 pounds but honestly if you're looking for a really good winter coat i think this is a great one. Oh, what's up my neighbor no sorry i thought someone was gonna knock on my door um i think it's quite hard to find a, a good coat for about 100 pounds and this one feels like honestly so incredibly heavy which i think is a good sign there's a lot of fabric to it um it's beautifully lined and it's a cotton mix but oh i just think it's beautiful don't size up in this though because i've got a 12 and even still like it's a little bit on the big side I, I kind of think that that's the point I, I definitely wouldn't want it any bigger than this is that it i think so oh a skirt this skirt i used that i had a sequin skirt and then i got rid of it and so when i spotted this one i was like oh my god like i said for christmas i just think sequin squats sequin squats sequin skirts are and this one is beautiful i actually don't really wear that much blue but you know like i don't think it has to like match anything else um wear it with a christmas jumper wear it with like a black long sleeve top i just think this will kind of like remake really a christmas outfit 
with some nice knee high boots. I'm really into knee high boots at the moment. I don't know if I've already said that in this video, but I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm going to have to share hangers. Um, again, this one is a little bit on the expensive side, but it is sequined and the finish is really nice. So very excited about that. I'm going to tidy this mess a little bit because there's a lot of a lot of packaging. And then I'll show you some beauty bits that have arrived recently. This is this um, this is a bit high still, but on from that, I thought I'd quickly show you a couple of beauty bit beauty bits that have arrived. Um, there's a new scent from Soap and Glory. This is Peach Please Body Scrub. It is, as the name suggests, a peach scent. Peach Please Body Butter. I do like it. Is it my favourite? Mm, no, they have this fruity scent, which is just, without a doubt, my favourite Soap and Glory scent. But I do think this is quite nice. Like, it is nice, but not my favourite. I feel everyone's got like their own Soap and Glory hierarchy. There's one, it's like a citrusy one, which is honest to God my least favourite scent. Um, but equally, I have friends that say that's their favourite, so it does really vary. So it's definitely worth checking out Beach Please. Peach Please, even. Um, if you're a Soap and Glory fan, this is limited edition. Body lotion, body wash, body scrub, and body butter. From Juice Control, there is a new fragrance. This is Viva La Juicy. Petals Please, so more floral, Viva La Juicy. And then also there's Naked uh, Fantasy by Britney Spears. I haven't actually um, opened either. I don't know why. I feel like I'm really happy with my perfumes at the moment. So like, when I get bored, I will open that. As you saw, two, new, two packages arrived from Loxtan. This one could be an advent calendar. Oh, actually, it's got a little full. I actually have two advent calendars already. Um, so this in here, the new Loxtan range is actually really, really beautiful, the Christmas range. I think it always is. I really like Loxtan as a brand. If you're looking for gifts, kind of for like any age group, um, maybe not like actually children, but like anyone else, and even like whether they're male or female, they have really, really lovely gifts. They are very sustainable as far as like beauty brands go um, and they're like making an effort to be forever more sustainable which is why they are a brand that I really do like to support but there's lots of lovely bits oh like this for example is their body care almond hydrating and smoothing um, like a little box set packaging, <laughs> packaging just beautiful and then inside you get a showered oil just love the shower oil it's one of my favorites I know men that really really love the shower oil, so maybe a nice one. Even if you want to give it to like as a as a couple gift, or um, or not, like it's up to you. You give it to a man or a woman as well. Um, and then there is a body butter, a hand cream, and a soap. And just opening this, it smells dreamy. I'm trying to carefully do it so that I can still talk about it on Instagram and elsewhere. But they also have this. Holiday Duo, a liquid soap and lotion. I specifically asked for this because I want this for my bathroom. I think this is a really lovely gift. I don't know if maybe like people are gonna say that like hand creams isn't the most personal gift, but at least it's useful. And I think this is a much nicer gift than say like a tacky, bigger um, beauty set. I just, I think like little things like this are great. Um, and like I said, reusable. So this will probably live in my bathroom or my kitchen. I haven't decided for a very long time. Um, so really looking forward to opening that. This is one that again that I really wanted, which is their new hand cream in the green chestnut scent, which unfortunately I can't open because I just creamed my hands, but looking forward to that. Um, and again, always do really lovely hand creams and really affordable prices. These are their crackers. I don't have prices off the top of my head, but I'll, I will link as much as I can. This is my comforting essentials. They do like nice little gifts um, that are like really affordable. These are crackers. And like I said, like everything is like fully paper. These, for example, are refillable. So very sustainable. And then I'm gonna open the last box. This is the advent calendar. I'm not gonna go too, de too in depth with this, just because I have like two other ones that I would like to show you. So maybe I'll show you those two, two those three together. I've had the Loxtan advent calendar for like maybe five years. I'm not sure, like it could be a bit more. And I just think, again, really lovely because because it's sustainable, because it's fully paper. You are getting mini, so I feel like it's important that they're a, a more conscientious brand when delivering that. If you are looking for a beauty advent calendar, one that you 
I, I, I think you will use everything that's in here because they're actually like useful. It's not like a red lipstick, even though like you might never wear red lipstick. Like I could open this and I will guarantee it's something that I will use. This is a proactive youth skincare um, emulsion, like definitely a cream I would use. Or again, like let me open a different one. Um, 15, sorry, there's obviously spoilers. This is a bar of soap, definitely something I would use. And I think that's just important when we're when we are shopping beauty um so yeah i'm going to sort out the rest of this i have a headache today i had a headache since i woke up um so i'm gonna tidy this and chill a tiny bit i think as well yeah <laughs> maybe i have a cup of tea maybe that's what i need i can just do all my recycling there's quite a lot okay so this is not the most flattering angle but you're in my um what do you call this like my bathroom cabinet i'm gonna go on a quick walk because it's almost sunset like sunset maybe in like 20 minutes so i can probably still get in like a half an hour walk in 20 minute walk i'm gonna do i probably could walk on but i don't really want to um in daylight so i think that's what i'm gonna do um today is the first day post half term and uh i always find that day really hard because like i spent the last like 10 days at home and Mike and like to um, just by myself, which is fine. And then actually I think I'm gonna try and sort out my nails because they have really seen better days, but also we're gonna have trick or treaters. So might have to wait for Mike to get back before I do that because how am I gonna hand out sweets? Okay, excuse the light. <laughs> um, maybe if I, I don't know. Excuse the light, that walk was absolutely needed. I've now got myself a little bowl of crisps. I think actually um, going for a walk at that time might be something I do regularly going forward. Every day that I don't have plans outside of the house um, because I always like try to get myself to go for a walk in the morning and that literally never, ever, ever, ever happens. Um, and then sometimes I do walk in the evening with Mike, but now that the evenings are getting so late and the truth is that Mike's just not home anytime early enough, um, I think it's going to, something, going to be something that I incorporate into my day, especially at the moment, like, it's definitely quite warm. I went out in, like, a very, like, like windbreaker, basically, and it's just so beautiful with all the autumn leaves, so fingers crossed that's something I can put into my day. Um, I'm now just going along with my laptop. I probably, probably got about another, I'm going to do about another 45 minutes worth of work, I think, maybe an hour. Um, and then I think I'm gonna like my I'm gonna like my pumpkin because then I think people start trick or treating. I have asked to see if Mike can come home a little bit earlier because of trick or treaters. But like it's fine, but equally like I would just rather if he were here. Um, that's looking unlikely since he hasn't replied to my message and it's already almost five. Um, so it takes him about 15 minutes to get home, so it's unlikely. <laughs> 